How's it going guys? My name is Tavarsh and today we're gonna drive my cheap SL55 AMG 1100 miles. All right, I apologize for the quality. I did have to do this with my phone just because I packed up all my camera equipment and uh, also some cameras are gonna go in the car. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I don't actually live in New Jersey. I'm in New Jersey right now. I've spent about two weeks, uh, the last two weeks, in New Jersey, uh, but I'm staying with my parents and I live as the license plate says, in Florida. So that is about 1,100 miles away, and uh, I have to drive this thing. So this is my $8,900 SL55 AMG Mercedes, and I love it. This thing is uh, this thing is awesome. You can check out all my other videos. I'll put, uh, well, I'm, I don't have to put links in them. Uh, you're already on the playlist. But um, a little thing that I did to get this car ready for the trip was this. So, when I first got the car, the audio didn't work. The audio from the speakers did not work, and that's because this had a aftermarket setup. Um, I think it had two or even three amps that were powering all the speakers. But uh, yesterday, just off camera, uh, me and a friend, my friend Align, um, we hooked up this. It's a, it's a Pep Boys amp, and I do want to uh, give a shout out to uh, my friend Anthony at uh, Pet Boys, he hooked me up with this. It was a uh, sort of new old stock floor model amp, and it's an SDX Pro Audio AP09512. Uh, it's a five channel amp. Five channel meaning that there's uh, two, uh, two front, two rear, and then one subwoofer. And I do have an, I believe it's an eight inch or 10 inch subwoofer in there. And it uh, it works fine, works perfectly fine. I do need to clean up the install a bit. I mean, this is all really dirty, but it's a lot cleaner than it was before. Um, especially because I have to, you know, kind of put stuff on here and make sure it doesn't overheat. Um, but yeah, this is, that is uh, an update. So I'm doing this video now because tomorrow I'm gonna have to leave at six in the morning or maybe even a little bit earlier because the road is, well, let's just say it's gonna to be tough. Uh, it's somewhere around 17 hours. Hopefully this thing does a little bit better than that because this thing eats miles and I love that. Uh, I hope I don't get stopped anywhere, but, uh, and I also hope that I don't break down anywhere, but it's been, I mean, it's done a dyno run. Uh, I've, I've worked on it and everything seems to be fine. And it even went to the quarter mile track. That was my last video. And uh, that was a lot of fun. And it still keeps on going. There's no, no real issues there. So I'm gonna meet you guys tomorrow and uh, we're gonna head out on what could be, well, what should be an uneventful journey. Oh, my friend's here. A friend of mine with his awesome red XJ. And that should be, uh, well, he's picking up all the tools that I borrowed from him. Yeah, because I'm not buying all these tools. How you doing? Hi, hey, you too. Hi. <laughs> I, I like your Deathlo Deathly Hallows uh, t-shirt. Yeah. Are they a sponsor? Okay, it is the next morning. I got a few winks of sleep, and uh, it's a little bit past the, uh, the designated time for sunup. Now, I'm going to try to make it there before sundown, which is 8.18 p.m., which means that I have round about 16 hours. Now, I don't think that's actually gonna happen. Uh, this is Memorial Day weekend, so it's gonna be, I, I, I anticipate there's gonna be traffic. Um, but the car is ready to go. Has some, uh, some nice, I'm trying to point here, uh, some nice morning dew on it. Uh, I have some camera set up so you guys can get some uh, really nice time-lapse shots. And uh, I will update you when I'm on the way, but uh, we should be good to go.
Uh, this is a situation report. I am in Virginia, about a quarter of the way through Virginia, and uh, it's been my first fill up. I've been getting about uh, 22 miles to the gallon, which is not not bad for a supercharged V8. Um, I uh, yeah, I, I'm actually making good time. It is around 10 o'clock in the morning, so hopefully if I get past Virginia at noon, then I can really, uh, really put the pedals of the metal in the states that don't really have strict speed limits. But uh, here it definitely is strict. Uh, 65 sort of means 65. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's everything's going good. Car's great. So I'm just uh, driving in Virginia and I just passed a sign that said over 80 miles an hour is considered reckless driving. Now the speed limit is 70. So 70 is perfectly fine and 80 is oh my god this guy this maniac needs to be stopped. So I thought of a cool little thing uh, where I can see how fast this car goes from legal to possible jail time uh, from 70 to 80. So right now, let me uh, let me get to 70. And by the way, at 70, I am uh, getting passed by minivans and uh, and the Jetta GLI. So I'm doing 70. And let's see how fast it goes to 80. So uh, I'm going to press the throttle down now. And I'm there. <laughs> All right, well, that was, that was entirely reckless, and uh, you should never, ever, ever do that. But uh, if you do, then know that an SL55 goes from legal to illegal in about a second. So uh, that, is, that is a situation report. Everything else is fine. Uh, the car is very smooth. It, uh, it tracks straight, and it's pretty quiet in here. Uh, I mean, you guys can hear me, and it's not... It's not boomy. It's you know, considering with all the uh, all the possible places where air can come in, it's pretty well sealed, and I, I think that's that's sort of indicative of the quality of Mercedes, especially in this era. But uh, okay, let's let's move onward. So I just did a little bit of highway math. It is 2.43 p.m. and I am 60-ish miles from the South Carolina border. Um, if I can maintain a decent speed, um, then I might be able to make, I might be able to get home before the sun goes down, before the official sunset, which is 8.18 p.m. I don't think, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to get uh, to get under that time, but I think if I if this car does what it's supposed to do and uh, basically just eats miles just like that, then yeah, I should be able to get home before uh, it gets too dark. Because when it gets dark, uh, I get tired, and usually, I mean people get tired just because your circadian rhythm uh, kind of takes over. And I've also been driving since basically six in the morning. So uh, yeah, I hope I hope that happens. And um, I mean, so far this car has been really good. But uh, again, we always need to have our fingers crossed. Okay, I am right between North Carolina and South Carolina. I'm uh, within walking distance of a place called South of the Border. You guys might know it, um, but the car is great. Uh, I am more than halfway done, and uh, it's basically the home stretch. 
yeah, uh, I know this is probably, I have no idea actually how long this video is going to be. Um, and I hope you guys are, uh, are sort of enjoying it, but it is, it's basically just a straight drive down I-95. I just wanted to see if this car could make it, uh, possibly. And honestly, it's been, it, it's had no problems. I mean, I don't want to jinx myself, but this is really, really good. And especially for the price I paid for it, I can't, I can't imagine a better value than what I got here. This thing loves miles. This thing loves to put on miles. By the time I get back home, I think I'm going to have around 120,000 miles, which is uh, not a small amount. Uh, something that a uh, Mercedes owner would call alarming. But uh, for this car, no big deal. So uh, yeah, let's get on the road. Well, uh, I have been on the road for 14 hours and uh, I'm getting a little tired. It still is uh, sunny outside, so I figured to, to keep me alert, I'm gonna put the top down because it is 90 degrees outside. I am right on the border of Georgia and Florida and right after that, it's two hours of uh, straight through driving to my house, but the car is doing absolutely fantastically so um it's just me who needs a little bit of pick me up but i'm on the home stretch i should be fine i've never fallen asleep behind the wheel or anything like that uh if things get really bad i will just pull over and take a nap i don't think that's going to happen but uh i also don't think that i'll get home before the sun goes down but in any case uh i gotta put this top down and uh enjoy this nice southern weather now this part never gets old Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> uh. That is uh, that's quite a thing. All right, let's head out. Actually, in the interest of time, uh, so you guys don't watch a, another montage of me driving a very straight road, let's take me getting home as a given. I will tell you if anything happens, if, uh, if the car blows up or I get pulled over or something, but uh, if nothing did happen, then I should be joining you in three, two, one, and there we go. I got home last night about 10.30ish, and uh, that is officially two hours after the sun went down, but um, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. This car actually made really good time when I did the trip with other cars. Uh, it usually, it was way slower than this, uh, because mainly because this thing is a beast on the highway uh but let's let's get out of here it is hot it is very very hot i thought it was a little warm in uh, north carolina it's like a hundred something degrees right now and i was just sitting inside uh, enjoying the ac i will be putting that car into that garage uh but right now i just have to unload it and uh the next video you're gonna see what I have planned for this car, and that is something that I'm personally very, very excited about. As the old adage goes, like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you need to do to make it known that my love for these cars, these uh, depreciated exotics and classics, uh, and also uh, oddball cars like this uh, Dually and all the cars back there, um, knows no bounds. My, I, I really enjoy doing these cars, uh, especially the ones in my garage right now. Yeah, those are... Uh, 
I, I, I just, this is why I do this. And uh, this thousand mile trip is just testament to how good these cars can be even when they are neglected and you do just a little bit of maintenance to them. Uh, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get out of this heat because I am, uh, I'm sweating as always. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. But uh, until then, this is me reminding you that just as all, just as I do with all my cars, you guys need to wrench every day.